Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me for another one of my kind of crazy inventions videos. Now, whenever I do one of these, whenever I build like a one kilometer space station or two kilometer space station, which you're seeing a clip of right now, people always ask me, well, they more kind of tell me to build a ring around Kerbin. Um, and uh, that would be really cool, I do admit it, but uh, it is impossible because Kerbin is too big and it would require too many parts to uh, to do this, but I always kind of thought it might be possible around Gilly, the smallest body in the solar system. And when I did my uh, one kilometer ring video, as you're seeing here, I kind of said I might give it a try, because Gilly has a radius of 17 kilometers, so a diameter of 34 kilometers, which means that you probably, with enough mods and enough kind of tweak scaling, you could probably do it. So. I set myself the task of seeing how big you can build things in KSP. So I fetched myself some tweak scale, which allows you to uh, scale up parts. So I scaled up the longest part to be about 50 meters long and started stacking them to see how big I could make it. I'm also using um, hanger extender, which means the hanger gets extended, which allows me to you know go out of the um, VAB in the space plane hanger, which is really rather nice. Um, and what you can see I'm doing is I'm building um, a really big uh, kind of beam and then setting the root part to be the highest one dragging it down and then just adding uh, Then kind of doubling it up as you see here. Yeah like that um, And this is how I did it and this is kind of uh, Four times speed so that it's not maddening to watch and yeah So the plan actually initially with this was just to see how big I could build it I didn't even really think I was gonna do the ghillie thing, but then I was like, oh hey So I think this ends up being about 50 kilometers long, which is pretty pretty good it's about a thousand parts for 50 kilometers which is yeah more than possible in KSP you do a thousand parts it'll lag like hell but it'll be there it's not like I need to maneuver this thing I just need it to be big I mean <laughs> that's kind of the point um, so yes and then you can see finally I've kind of made this massive ring it's mostly in the ground right now but when you launch it, it'll pop up and hopefully not explode and sort of crash the game because it's 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 pretty big I mean load range it is two and a half kilometers, so five kilometers kind of rate or diameter, which means that this is going to be ten times wider than a load range bubble, I guess, is how you'd do it. Anyway, so yes, we've got this, and now we need to launch it. Obviously, there's no rocket that can launch this because it's like just millions of tons. Um, so what I'm going to do is hack gravity, turn on unbreakable joints, and no crash damage so that it survives long enough for me to cheat it into orbit. And then I'm going to cheat it into orbit using Alt and F12. Brings up that menu. We launch it, cut out the load time, and uh, put it into orbit. And there we go. And the great thing about this is I was unsure if this would work. But you can actually see the whole 50 kilometer beam. I thought it may, might start kind of unloading bits visually. Um, I don't, re I didn't really know what to, what to expect, but it didn't do that. And you can see this is a 50 kilometer beam in space. It's kind of hard to get a perspective on this because there's nothing around it. But uh, that is how big it is. Um, but you can see now it's wobbling around like a string almost. It's kind of flailing and almost has a sine wave going down it. Um, you can kind of get an idea of how big this is. But you can see, obviously, it would never be big enough to go anywhere near around Kerbin. Uh, but then I get, obviously, the fantastic plan to uh, put it into orbit of Gilly. And we can see how big it is next to Gilly. Now, that's not really give, close enough to give you a really good perspective. And hopefully you can see that with, like, the compression YouTube does, because it's just like a few pixels. I think I was playing at 1440p. You should just be able to make out the uh, station there. And you can see it starts um, doing this awesome thing where it kind of, like, flails around like a string, but then I get um, I get it nice and close to Gilly, you can, and you can see it's wider than Gilly, just, you can just about see that, that it's kind of, is wider than Gilly. Um, but then we get to see another nice shot of it kind of just acting like a little bit of string in space. I love that when you have like this 8 million ton spacecraft and it just freaks out. This is just because the physics engine just doesn't know what to do with it. Um, and also it can't break because I have the cheats on. So yeah, but yeah, you can definitely see here, it's it's wider than Gilly. So if I had four of these, I could probably build like a square around Gilly. It's not gonna be a ring, but a square would work. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> I go back to the space plane hangar actually, because it gives me a little more freedom, and start trying to find the end of this beam. Uh, but the annoying thing is when you reroute parts, which I have to do to uh, keep moving it down, changing where the root part is, it often flips it around, uh, in some weird way, so you can see I keep taking a bit of the space station off and making sure that the length is getting longer um, and the bit I'm taking off is getting shorter, so I am actually finding the end. It's a really annoying little thing that made this quite difficult when you reroute parts, it kind of flips them around. But anyway, eventually I do find the end. 
Then I simply just kind of grab the station, put it on the end, rotate it 90 degrees, and see if this will kind of encompass Gilly. Obviously it's not a square yet, but this is the next step. And this is 2,000 parts and, uh, you know, 50 kilometers by 50 kilometers. So it's pretty massive. The load time was pretty long. Obviously, I cut it out. I think it was like a few minutes, um, but definitely not the worst one we'll see today. And we put it next to Gilly, and it's in the wrong orientation. It is next to Gilly, but yeah, you can just about make out the lower beam there. Um, but it's kind of not in the right angle to kind of get a nice perspective of how it goes around. But hey, I mean, it's possible to do 2,000 parts in this giant kind of ridiculously sized thing. But I do eventually find a nice shot to kind of show you that it's all here. Um, but yes, obviously this isn't uh, isn't truly acceptable. And um, you can really see the frame rate is chugging like hell now, and sometimes Gilly is even glitching out a bit because uh, the physics engine doesn't just doesn't know what to make of it. But I do eventually do find a nicer orientation, just because I kind of wanted to, where it's almost kind of around Gilly a bit, and you can see that this would basically work. Um, yeah, you, if it was a, just a tiny bit closer, it would be a little nicer. Um, but yeah, so that's that's good. So I guess we need a square now. So I went back to the space plane hangar, kind of doubled the thing up again, but because I couldn't see each end because it's so massive, we kind of get a weird shape, not a square. So I'm going to have to go back and change that again. You can see the lag is unbelievable now. This is 4,000 parts. The load time is 15 minutes. So going back to the space plane hangar was really annoying. So what I do is I find the little marker I put on the root part. I put three lights on the root part so I'd know what it looked like in space, so I'd know what I needed to do to change various things. And I find that up here you can just about make them out, maybe if you're watching this in HD. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the root part, so I figure out what I need to do, because I can't just like, you know, trial by error with this, because it's half an hour between, you know, tests. And eventually I get it to be a square. Yes, we have our square, our ring station, which isn't very ring-like. And I always have to time warp, otherwise it will just break everything will explode. Um, but obviously this isn't really a round ghillie right now, um, and that would be quite nice. So we time warp a bit, but then we kind of stab ghillie with the space station, and that's not super great. And it doesn't look like time warping like this will actually get me into a position where I move around Gilly. I, I ended up playing around with the uh, orbit editor a bit to try and see if I could get a nice orientation. But most of it was just sort of accidentally impaling Gilly with the space station. Um, but eventually I find something acceptable. Now it's not actually around Gilly. You can kind of see that it looks like it, but it is a bit in front of it. But it does frame this quite well that you can see that this is definitely big enough. Bigger than I thought it was, actually, but it's definitely big enough to surround Gilly, and I thought this shot was really nice, of just kind of Gilly inside, almost like a window frame. It's such a shame I couldn't turn it into a ring, um, but that would have been, as I said, impossible, because you can only see a very small amount of this in the space center at a time. I think only, like, two or three kilometers at a time, um, and it's 50 kilometers each side. But yes, that is a space station. Well, not a space station. This is all fuel tanks. That's why it weighs so much, but they're the biggest parts. I guess I could have done it with cargo bays and had a fuck ton of storage, just all of the storage. <laughs> but no, yeah, and I'm just yeah, rotating the camera a bit now so you can see this isn't false perspective. And so you can also see the frame rate. None of this, not, uh, none of this actual ghillie footage has been sped up, so you can kind of get an idea of this. Because more than anything, this was an exploration of the uh, physics engine. But yeah, you can see there, we're not actually around ghillie, but you can see it's not a false perspective thing. This is actually how big it is. But like I was saying, I didn't know if this was even just possible to build something this big, it, like planet, well, very small moon size in KSP. I didn't know if Unity would support it or, or or whatever, but it clearly it clearly works. You can do some crazy stuff. This is four thousand parts. I remember when I first started playing, you, you couldn't even really have five hundred parts, um, and you can't have four thousand parts. You couldn't do anything that, with this. You can't even time warp really. Um, but it is just about possible, and I think that's rather magic. And now we've got this nice shot where you can see it really does work. So to all the people asking if you can put a ring around Kerbin. The answer is no, but you can put a square around Gilly. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Caspi with Tape. I will see you next time.